It all started when I needed to build a dining room table and hundreds of cutting and charcuterie boards to prepare for the holiday season. Needless to say, I was exhausted. And I thought I would just build a big batch of charcuterie boards to maybe try to catch back up.
As I was building all these charcuterie boards, right near the end, I'm, I'm talking like one of the last few stages of building these boards, the impossible happened. I was just a few steps away from finishing and our most important tool in that step of the process, our drum sander, broke on us. This is our most reliable tool. It's never given us any problems and it just quit. It wouldn't turn on, the, the belt wouldn't feed things across, the, the, the drum wouldn't spin, nothing, nothing about it was working. I needed a working drum sander and I knew it had some sort of electrical problem. I did not have time to pull out the multimeter and diagnose the problem. I had all these boards to finish and then I had to build a couple hundred cutting boards for the holiday season prep too. And this model of drum sander has been back ordered since COVID and I, I couldn't find another one. And after a quick Google search, I found out that I would have to spend over $500 just to replace all the parts I thought could be broken. The, the brain box, what makes this tool so great is this little computer chip that uh, intelligently speeds up or slows down the conveyor belt to match the, the material removal. It's, it's a really great system as long as it works. That day, I finished 20 boards by hand. I just went up through the grits with the palm sander, but that took the entire rest of the day. I could not do the entire batch of boards like that. It, it would just waste way too much time. So with enough boards on the inventory rack that we wouldn't run out in the meantime, I gritted my teeth and just ordered the $500 part. And I paid for rush processing and shipping so that it would get here as fast as possible. With a mountain of charcuterie boards at a total standstill, there was nothing I could do except start to get ahead on the cutting board orders.
But after three weeks, the replacement part for the drum sander never arrived. Online, the order said it was processed and I even had a shipping tracking number, but there was no update on when it might be delivered. After hurricane season, the kitchen table, building these charcuterie boards, and then starting on the cutting boards that we were gonna need for the holiday season, I was so tired and busy that I honestly just forgot that I ordered the part and just expected it to show up one day. I guess Amazon has spoiled me. But after three weeks with no shipping updates, no email from the company, no phone call, I was finally at the point where I needed the drum sander for all of the boards. I tried to call the company, the, the manufacturer of the tool. I tried to call the company for any update. I couldn't find a phone number for customer support and the sales department didn't want to talk to me because I wasn't buying anything new. The only thing I could find was to fill out a customer support complaint ticket and hope that someone would get back to me. A few days later, I did get an email back, finally. The email said that that part was backordered and they'd try their best to expedite another order from the manufacturer overseas. I was mad. Oh, I was mad. I was mad at myself for not checking on the order sooner. I was mad at the company for taking my money and then not even giving me so much as an email to let me know that they didn't have the part in stock. And even then, it took them three weeks. They didn't even know that they were out of stock until I finally found a way to their customer support and then they realized that they didn't have any in stock. I was just livid, but I get it. I get it, mistakes happen. They're a big company, they got a lot of orders. Surely it was just a mistake. So I calmed down a little bit. Very politely, I just asked for a discount or a refund of some kind. I was very nice about it, I wasn't rude, but surely this company would do the right thing and just make it right. They said no. I had paid full price and for rush processing and shipping, and they didn't even bother to contact me until three weeks later, and I had to file a complaint in order to get any kind of response. And then they still defended that I should have paid full price. This is not like me. I usually do not squawk about things like this. That, that's just not my style. But I just don't think I should have to have paid full price for this when I got far less than a full price experience. It's just so frustrating to see another big company make so much money and just have a terrible customer support system. We're trying our best over here to serve the customer and meet their needs and exceed their expectations. And we get punished if we don't because we don't make money if we don't. Customer service just doesn't seem to matter anymore once your business reaches a certain size. Maybe that's just how it is in business and I need to just get over it. But enough of my own pity party. This experience just made me want to build and sell even more product this holiday season. A week and a half later, the replacement part eventually did show up. And for a moment, a terrible thought crossed my mind. What if this replacement part doesn't fix it? And we were back in business. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I 
I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night inning There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Live it right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the scene Out on stage, here I'm screaming Okay, it's a dream And I pray as a team One day it be me If I want it, then I'll get it Head down, don't regret it Push myself to the limit If I play it, then I win it I'm just saying, I'm just living for today For a minute, I don't stay I just visit, have no shame I just live it yeah. Looking on me To see if I succeed To see if I believe They're looking up to me They want the best of me now Best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. To God, man, I'ma make it soon Silence all the haters as they see us making moves I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove Staying motivated, teaching others what to do I'm staying focused, my mind is open They start to notice that I'm in motion There is no potion, you're not just chosen It takes devotion to stay composed, man Never stop, never stop, there ain't no time to fight Try to live, get it up, you got one life to pop Thinking big, never small, cause you gotta want it up When you finally get that cup, you get ready, take it up Need a handout, I already stand out Starting to advance now, ready to expand now You don't have a chance now, cause we're in demand now Make it by the grand now, feeling in command now They're looking blind to see if I succeed, to see if I believe, they're looking up to me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. This is why we know our business needs to make money in addition to just materials and labor. The business has got to make money too. Had we kept our prices low like they were when we first started our business, there would be no way I could have made a profit and fixed the machine. But fortunately, we've learned that lesson. And with that wisdom, we now price high and we don't have to worry about catastrophic things like this as much. Stuff like this just isn't the end of the world. Believe me, it's frustrating. It's, it's irritating. I don't like having to mess with it. I'll eliminate it as much as I can, but it's not the end of the world. We made a profit this holiday season and our business continues to grow. We delivered everything on time, although we were pretty close, but we delivered everything on time, everybody was happy, and our reputation was left intact. I'm still waiting on the company to do the right thing in my mind, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm just so glad we have never taken tool sponsors. I just always wanna be able to use the best tool possible. I don't want special treatment because I'm a YouTuber. I, I just want my stuff to work. I don't want to overcomplicate what tool I have to buy based on relationships with certain companies. Needless to say, we will be considering different companies when we need to upgrade our drum sander, as well as writing up a policy on our end to make sure that we check up on orders for replacement parts. But until then, I will be so grateful for everything that we have. I was able to finish all the boards for this holiday season. Everything got delivered, even though I lost some serious time and it looked like we were gonna be cutting it way too close. Thank you so much for watching and hearing this story. Subscribe if you wanna hear more like it or join the Stud Stack if you're trying to sell what you make. The Stud Stack is a community of other maker business owners that share their struggles and their lessons so that we can help each other out as we grow our businesses. We're just trying to encourage everyone to get to the next level faster. But don't forget about the Box of Scrap Challenge and we will see you on the as next one. I do it, I just stick to the